Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode in the Ranking Every Episode of Dario by Season series. I know some of you have been waiting a while for this video, and I thank you for your patience. I don't want to keep you waiting any longer, so let's get to it. Now, at the bottom of my list is Episode 5, Mauled. Before I go any further, I just want to say that just because an episode is near the bottom of my list does not mean I dislike it. It just means I like other episodes more. You and anyone else may possibly disagree with my rankings, and that's okay. This list is purely my opinion. I put Mauled last on my rankings because I think it's the weakest episode of the season. Not much exciting happens. Dari unintentionally gives her teacher an idea for a field trip to the mall to learn about economics. While there, Dari finds Quinn at the mall ditching school with the fashion club, and she blackmails Quinn into doing her chores for the house around a month. And of course, there's other things that happen, but nothing too noteworthy. I will say probably my favorite scene of the episode is watching Jody absolutely crush the mall executives who are using them for market research, and thanks to her, they end up getting free stuff. It was one of the first real glimpses into Jody and what she's like, more than the, we got from the couple snippets from episodes 2 The Invitation, and it made me interested to see more of her character. Number 12 on my list is College Board, an episode I do like a lot more than Mauled, just not enough to place it higher on my list. While not a lot of memorable moments, I had a few more than Mauled, which is why it's placed slightly higher. Daria and Quinn visit their parents' old college campus, the parents wander around their old alma mater, including Jake's old dorm room. Dario ends up hanging with some college students and writing their papers for a fee. Quinn ends up at a frat party and becomes the keg queen. And Dario, Quinn, and their parents end up getting kicked off campus for Quinn being a minor at a party. I will say my favorite part of the episode was watching Dario and the other students fantasy of what college might be like for them. Definitely not a bad episode, but not great either. Next, we have this year's model, which is a more Quinn-focused episode. And despite being number 11 on my list, it's definitely not a bad episode. Miss Lee, the principal, announces the modeling agency will be coming to the school. Daria vehemently opposes the idea. In fact, we later see Daria talking to her parents about it, which is a rarity given Helen's response. Helen agrees with Daria, and shortly after, we have Quinn walk in saying she wants to be a model. My favorite thing about this episode is that it's one of the first times we see Daria strongly speak up about something. It's no secret that Darley is strongly opinionated, but she hardly ever says anything about anything unless it's a quick sarcastic comment here or there. But here she'll gladly share her views even if no one asks her about it. It's a nice little bit of character development, even if it's only the sixth episode. Ten is Cafe Disaffecto. The episode starts with the town's cafe, alt.londo.com, getting broken into and robbed then cuts to a scene of the Mr. O'Neill's class discussing the break-in. The school decides to raise money for the cafe by having the students selling items by going door to door. I like how in this episode we get to see that Quinn can actually be smart. Quinn knows that she's a cute and charming girl and has no problem using her looks and charms to get what she wants from guys, as we can see when she's selling phone cards to Danny. We also see more of Daria's personality when she refuses to sell chocolate bars to a woman because of her poor health, despite the fact that the woman is willing to pay $5 per chocolate bar. Lastly, in this episode we were introduced to Andrea, the goth girl, and Melody Powers, the fictional character Daria created who she sometimes uses in her stories. Despite being in the lower half of this list, definitely not a bad episode. Number 9 on the list is episode 9, Too Cute. Just like with this year's model, this episode is more Quinn focused. I placed this episode above this year's model because while both episodes dealt with important themes, modeling and plastic surgery, I believe this episode did a better job of addressing the topic and issue while still having a good balance and mix of humor. I especially love that we get to see Daria put down her sarcasm, mostly, and actually be, be sincere to Quinn, because she can tell that Quinn is feeling really insecure about herself, and she tries her best to make Quinn feel better, even if Quinn didn't see it that way. 8 is the Lab Rat. We get to see more of Kevin and Brittany in this episode, and while they're not my favorite characters of the series, I always enjoy seeing them when they come on. Dari has to work with Kevin on a class project, Brittany becomes jealous, and Dari has to deal with Brittany's jealousy and interference. The side plots really aren't that important. Upchuck blackmails Brittany into doing errands for him, and Quinn tries flirting with Kevin while he's at her house for his project with Daria. I enjoy this episode because we get to see Daria's interactions with her classmates, and while she is definitely unpopular, she is definitely not unknown around the school. Seven is the big house. Daria and Quinn are caught sneaking home late. Helen decides to hold a family court trial. 
and Dari and Quinn are grounded. But Dari wants to go see a school game with her friends in the hopes of seeing Mr. DiMartino have a heart attack. The plot is very simple and it's definitely been done before in other shows, but the show does it well here. From Dari getting caught by her sister trying to sneak out, to Quinn resorting to reading to escape boredom while being trapped inside the house, Dari's classmates' reaction to her getting grounded since they can't imagine what she could have done to get grounded, to Kevin being an idiot and thinking Dari's parents had done something to her brain. It's a basic episode, but it's well done and it has its moments. 6 is the Steamers, the pilot episode. I'll probably make a future video talking about the pilot in depth, but for now I'm just going to explain why I ranked it where I did. I think a Steamers is a good, above average pilot, but not a great one. It does everything a pilot should do, establishes Dari and the other characters in the show early on. We can see Dari's personality in the very first scene where she raises the volume of the radio to avoid talking with her dad, and it doesn't take long to see her sarcastic nature come out. And we have a believable story of how Dari and Jane met, through a self-esteem class. All in all, a good pilot and does what it should. Five is The Invitation. Only in the second episode of the series, we get to see Daria isn't all mocking sarcasm all the time, just most of the time. We see her help Brittany in art class even though she doesn't have to, and she even puts in a way Brittany can understand, with shopping metaphors. In return, Brittany invites Dari to a party she's throwing, Chang tags along, and unsurprisingly, Dari does not try to socialize with anyone there. We get our first brief Trent scene, and our first upcheck appearance when he tries to hit on Jane and Daria. Funniest scene in the episode I would say is when the three J's start fighting over Quinn and she's pretending to hate it with a huge smile on her face. To me, that is classic Quinn. Stop it! Stop fighting! This is horrible! They're fighting over me! Four is the final episode of first season, The Misery Chick. Former Lawndale High School quarterback and huge jerk Tommy Sherman is having a goalpost named after him. He arrives at Lawndale High School and starts being a jerk to everyone, including Daria who he calls a misery chick. He shortly dies afterwards in the next scene after his own goalpost crushes him off screen. The school starts going through an existential crisis and everyone starts going to Daria for advice because they think she's always miserable and thinks about stuff like this. This finally culminates where after Jane has been avoiding Daria since Tommy Sherman's death, Daria goes to Jane's house to talk to her and explains that the, she's never cared that she's been unpopular, but she's not a misery chick, she's just not like them, the other students. Daria and Jane have a heart to heart talk, and they start talking again. I think this was a very good episode, and a great season 1 finale. 3 is the teachings of Don Jake. This is a great episode and we get to see more of Daria's family and Jane's family. Daria's family decide they should go camping and retreat to a flashback scene of a young Helen and Jake camping back in their hippie days before they had Daria and Quinn. While Daria's family goes camping, Jane and Trent go to a family reunion. We get to hear Jane talk about her siblings, and we get to see the extended side of her family and how they treat her and Trent. And it doesn't go well. While Daria's family camps, we're treated to scary campfire stories from each Morgendorfer, and Jake feeds his family berries he found for breakfast. Except for Daria who didn't eat hers. We get to see Daria's family hallucinate and go crazy from eating psychedelic berries and watch Daria try to figure out a way to save them, which results in her finding her mother's hidden cell phone and calling 911 and getting them airlifted out of the woods. A good episode and definitely one of the funniest of the first season. 2 is Pinch Sitter. Now this is a great Daria episode. We're treated to flashbacks of Daria and Quinn as little kids and how they acted back then. We get to see Daria and a little bit of Jane's approach to babysitting, and in the side plot we see Quinn try to be more organized, which results in her date finding out that she was only going to date him for a few months and then go out with a different guy. I enjoyed every single scene with Daria babysitting, whether it be letting the kids play with her hair, the kids comparing her to Quinn and Daria being really annoyed by it, or Daria and Jane reading the kids fairy tales except that they said their own version of each story, which the kids ended up liking better. I definitely would not have complained if there had been a second babysitting episode in the future. And my number one episode of the season one episodes is episode 11, Road Warrior. This episode would probably be in my top 10 episodes of the series, if not higher. I love every scene in this episode. From the cute Daria and Trent scenes, to Jane teasing Daria about her crush on Trent, to Quinn showing off her fake tattoo and Helen and Daria's reaction to it. But my favorite moments of the episode would have to be Daria trying to hold in her sarcasm every time she's around Trent, 
and Jane knowing Dari wants to say something and tells her to say it before just eventually saying it herself. Overall, a fantastic episode has serious moments, funny moments, and memorable moments. Well, that's my ranking for every Dari episode from season 1. What do you guys think? Agree? Disagree? Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's alright if your guys' listings of the episodes differ from mine or someone else's. Feel free to comment below what you guys would rank the episodes, and whatever kind of videos you would like to see on this channel. I can't wait to make a listening ranking episode for season 2, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks! Bye!